In this lesson, we'll look at the app and browser control tools included in the Windows Security app. One of the biggest dangers to our machines tends to be us as users. We occasionally make bad decisions. We open websites and click on things we shouldn't, and these actions can expose our devices to attacks. The app and browser control section included in the Windows Security app includes tools that are designed to step in and prevent these opportunities from happening. Let's open the Windows Security app, and we're going to select over here on the left, App and Browser Control. The first set of choices we have here have to do with ensuring that applications and websites are trustworthy. If other people have reported the app or the website as dangerous or malicious, these controls may save you some grief. All three rely on Windows Defender Smart Screen, which is a service that can be checked when we download apps or files or try to open websites. One thing to keep in mind is that currently these tools are designed to work with Microsoft Edge. If you've installed a different web browser, then Smart Screen will not automatically be used by that other web browser. Now, Microsoft has made plugins for some other web browsers like Chrome, which lets them also use Smart Screen. An example of what happens is if we open a link to a website that Smart Screen knows to be dangerous. Now, by default, Smart Screen will warn you that a site is reported to be dangerous. If you need to open the web page anyway, Warren will still allow you to proceed. Now, while Smart Screen is not a guarantee that all threats will be blocked, it is a very valuable tool that you should have enabled. Of course, we have a couple other setting options in all three of these areas. However, Warren is a practical way to handle this. We also have a couple of links down here. Now, the first is a link to install an additional tool or feature that can be used when browsing the web with Microsoft Edge. Windows Defender Application Guard will open websites that are not considered trusted in a way that prevents them from making changes to your device. Now, this can help prevent a web page from installing or changing data on your device. It also isolates the web page while it's open, and this makes it impossible for an attacker to get anything from your device through the web page, including usernames and passwords. Select the link if you'd like to install it. It will open the Windows Feature window. This includes optional features that can be added to Windows. Scroll down until you find Windows Defender Application Guard. Check the box and select OK to install it. The feature will be installed and a reboot will be required. The second link down here is for a feature that is already installed and enabled by default. Exploit protection is a little different from the antivirus that uses virus definitions to catch dangerous programs before they run in your system. Exploit protection includes tools that actually prevent popular attack techniques from functioning at all, so those dangerous programs won't even get into your system in the first place. Select the Exploit Protection Settings link down here to open the tools up. Now the tools are divided by System or Program Settings. System refers to the general default settings that are applied to all applications, and you can see there's quite a few different tools here with different purposes. Well, program settings lets us manage the individual settings that are used for specific programs. So this means that the program settings you make here can actually override whatever the system settings were for that individual program. Now, as with other areas in the Windows Security app, I recommend you leave settings at their default in here, unless you're following specific directions from a trusted source. In this lesson, we've looked at the app and browser control tools that are found in the Windows Security app. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.